Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to another episode of the Dean Sisters Tawheed Lessons. The book we are using currently is Kitab Tawheed and this is first semester, lesson 19. The topic for discussion today is belief in bad omens. Allah the Almighty said in Quran 7 verse 131, What went good that this provision came to them, the people of Fir'aun? They said, This is ours by right. And if a bad condition struck them, they saw an evil omen in Moses and those with him. Unquestionably, they are fortunate with Allah, but most of them do not know. Allah the Almighty said in Quran 36 verse 19, they, messenger, said, Your evil omens be with you. Do you call it evil omen because you are admonished? Nay, but you are a people most reformed, that is transgressing all bounds by committing all kinds of great sins and by disobeying Allah. It was narrated by Abu Huraira. May Allah be pleased with him. The Allah's messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, There is no adwa, that is contagion of disease, without Allah's permission. Nor is Adiyara that is any bad omen from birds, nor is there any Hama that is the omen of the night bird the old, nor is there any bad omen in the month of Safar. In Muslim Sahih, the following, word, the following words were added, and no now and no ghul, now meaning constellation in the path of the moon, or a division of time connected with the faces of the moon, and ghul meaning fictitious monster often invoked to scare children like ghosts. And as may Allah be pleased with him, it is reported to have heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, No adwa, that is contagion, and no diara, that is bad omen, but al-fa'al pleases me. So they asked, What is al-fa'al? He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam answered, It is the good word, reported by Bukhari and Muslim. Abu Dawood reported, At diara, that is taking bad omens, was once mentioned to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he said, "The best form of it is al-fa'al, that is optimism or the expectation that an event will occur by Allah's permission. It does not prevent a Muslim from his object. Whenever one of you sees something he dislikes, he should pray, O oh Lord, none but you brings good things, and none but you prevents evil things. There is no power and no strength except in you." It was narrated from Ibn Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him. At the era is shirk. At Diyara is shirk. There is none amongst us who does not feel something in his heart about At Diyara, but Allah, due to deep trust in him, removes it. This hadith was reported by Tirmizi and Abu Dawood, and it is stated that its last part is a statement of Ibn Mas'ud. The above hadith tells us that there is no harm if such suspicion falls on the heart while disliking it. Indeed, Allah will provide safety due to deep trust in him. Ahmad reported, Whoever is turned back by Adiara has committed shirk. They asked, What makes the atonement for such a sin? The Prophet wasallam answered, To say, O oh Lord, there is no good except the good with which you bestow, there is no evil except the evil which you decree, and there is no true God except you. May Allah guide us onto the right path and strengthen our iman. Until next time, fear man Allah.